Right, a strange looking quadratics question going on here. You might say quadratic because it's next to the four in here, there, but we'll, we'll see in due course what I mean. Actually, this is kind of a hidden quadratic, which is covered in more detail at A-level. So we're interested in the value of w when y is equal to 10. Um, so I think it makes sense, actually, as a, you know, a first go, to work out, to substitute in for x, for x squared and x to the 4. So x squared is going to equal w plus 1. And x to the 4, then, is going to equal the square of that. It's going to be w plus 1 squared. And suddenly, I can write something down that you know, has a bit more meaning, I think. 10 equals 6 times w plus 1 squared plus 7 times w plus 1. Okay, hmm, still doesn't look that nice, does it? But um, now it's going to have to expand it out. So 10 is going to equal 6, and then this is a double bracket. It's going to give me w squared plus 2w plus 1. Because I've basically, I'm not going to do this for detail, but I've expanded w plus 1, w plus 1. And then over here, I've still got my 7 w plus 1, I might as well expand that. Another line, 10 equals 6 w squared plus 12 w plus 6 plus 7 w plus 7. And now I can start simplifying this. So I think I'll leave the 10 on the left hand side for the moment. 10 equals 6 w squared plus 19 w, if I add these two together plus 13. And we're nearly there. I can now write that 6w squared plus 19w plus 3 equals 0 because of minus 3 from both 10 from both sides. All right, still not looking particularly easy um, because I've got this 6w squared there. There's no common factors. I can't cancel this down. One thing you could do is use the quadratic formula at this point if you wanted to. But I'm going to give it a go and just try and factorise it. Now, factorising this kind of expression is a bit tricky because I don't know if this is a 6w and a w or if it's a 3w and a 2w. So, you know, but you can try it out. Um, and that's what I'm going to do here. There's one really good thing and that I've got a 3 here. So there's not many possibilities. So I can, I can very quickly sort of rule out that it's going to be 3 and 1 because there's no way that would give me 19w. I'm not even going to try and multiply it out. I can see that's not going to work. So the only other one that might work is 1 and 3. And then I'd get, if I do 6w times 3, I'll get 18w. If I do 1 times w, I'll get w. And actually, I think I've found it. I don't, need to, don't even need to worry about this now. It's going to be 6w plus 1, and w plus 3 equals 0. I hope my, my method of working makes sense there. And I'm nearly done. If that's equal to 0, then... That, actually, sorry, I'm rushing this. If that's equal to 0, then either 6w plus 1 equals 0, or w plus 3 equals 0. I can solve this, w is equal to minus 1 sixth, or minus 3. Okay, there's only a little one space for an answer there, but normally you get two answers, but I just need to say something right now. We need to remember, right at the start, we had y is equal to 6x to the 4 plus 7x squared. Now there's an issue if this thing in the square root is negative, and when w is equal to minus 3, I will actually get a negative here. So I need to reject w is equal to minus 3. This is an extra bit they put in right at the end. You have to realize that because I can't have the square root of uh, minus 3 plus 1. That would be the square root of minus 2. Um, and we're, we're ruling that out here. So in fact, w is just equal to minus 1 6. All right, we're done, but I just want to say one other thing we could have done. I think it's worth chatting about. It, def it comes into A-level, 
and that is to simply look at solving 10 equals 6x to the 4 plus 7x squared from the start. I'm not sure I want to do that here, but I could. This is actually a hidden quadratic because I could write this as 6x to the 4 plus 7x squared minus 10 equals 0. Um, I wonder if this is going to work now I'm trying it this way. And I, but I could actually do a substitution. I could let u equal x squared. And then suddenly I'd get that u squared is x to the 4. And I'd get 6u squared plus 7u minus 10 equals 0. Now, to be honest, this doesn't really look any nicer to deal with because I've now got a minus 10 to deal with as well. Um, so I'd have to sort of play around with my factorising again. I, I'm going to go with it. Like, even though I think this is now a bad approach, I just wanted to talk about it. So I've either got 6u in u, or I've got 3u in 2u. But now I've got like loads of possibilities. I do know, however, that one's going to be negative and one's going to be positive. So maybe I just, I just go for it and I try it. So I could try like 5 and 2. Um, there's no way that's going to work. With Actually, that is going to work. I think that is going to work. because. If I do 6u times 2, I'll get 12u. And if I do 5 times u, I'll get 5u. So as long as I make this one plus 2 to give me plus 12u, and make this one minus to give me minus 5u, then I'll get my, my, I'll get my plus 7u and I'll get my minus 10u. I kind of lucked out there, um, but that will work. And then I'll get the u, 6u is, 6u minus 5 is 0, so u is 5 sixths, or u is equal to minus 2. Um, but there's an issue here, okay, I'm going to cross that one out, because then I need to work back and think about, um, I've got u, u is x squared. What am I actually trying to find? Remember, because I'm trying to find w. So x is the square root of w plus 1. Um, so that would mean that x squared is equal to w plus 1, and therefore w is equal to x squared minus 1. And I did the substitution earlier on of u. So w is actually u minus 1. And therefore, because I've worked out w, it's going to be 5 6 minus 1, which is 1 6. Or it's going to be minus 3. Wait, 5 6. 5 6 minus 1 is actually minus 1 6, sorry. Okay, so I've done. I've done 5 sixths minus 1 to get the minus 1 sixth, and I've done minus 2 minus 1 to get the minus 3. And then I would have to reject this. I kind of, uh, yeah, probably shouldn't have even gone into that level of detail, but I, you know, I wanted to talk about dealing with the hidden quadratic. I don't think it's the way to go here, but it, I would have still got the right answer. So, you know what? I'm not, I am glad I did that. Probably in this particular case, I'd go with this approach. Get especially because you probably haven't covered hidden quadratics in detail. Um, get a substitution in. Solve for w actually turns out to be a nicer factorization than the below one. Just remember when you get situations like this with square roots that you do need to think about rejecting answers. All right. Whew.